Dominic Francisco presents Bound onto Root Sufferer's Skin. This window is ours. He knew she was there, just beyond his diminished line of sight. No more than the obligatory did he dare peer beyond the pain. Carotid humidity afforded no respite. Locked into place, yards away, a three-hinged savior. The security of a finger grip was not a realistic goal for swatting arms. The knob may as well have been halfway across the world. Her curse, that of immediate friction, haunted his susceptible joints. Stagnant and indecisive, this was no choice in his bedroom, her lair. Bound, forced to stare petulantly into reflective obsidian stratosphere, praying to make sense of the grain of the night. The overlook of a desolate yard was no longer a luxury in these unkempt times. My name, he made out. He had deciphered the wind. His name, he recognized, clouded, muffled, but undoubtedly there. Just the same as that of a sleepless mirage, the same a child experiences on the third consecutive night without regard for self-restraint. It came from within an unforgiving paranoia. It came from outside. It came from her. No longer did our hero harness dexterity. The contextual agility he needed to flee his predator escaped his muted exertion. His shrunken, clunky gallops led him to idle lost. No handle endured where one always had. Another prank sponsored by darkness. Gushes of pawing failed to rebuke this cruel gag. The exit removed. Him, four walls, a frame, the coarse lust of a voracious goddess, his name. Again, from another wall. Maybe it was one of the several inside of him. With the internal blink of an eye, the pain was gone. The frigidness of the night rasped about in his naked larynx. She was here. It was no memory of another life, no delusion of an exhausted mind. She was here, fondling his interior. The siren had come to roost. The twist around bones was familiar footwork. She slithered the tangle of deceit on the hardwood of her victim's innards. The dance partners felt the tightening of the foreign organs that encased her. Beggar's tragedy, another's triumph. The melding of bodies was a rewarding sensation for she. A bridge from an old life to a budding one. The fountain of youth. If only Cortez looked inside of his men. The holes slipped through congested arteries, a shimmy down and out of this feeding tube. Towards the palpations of the recently damned, she strafed. Sleet tendrils gripped the fair ribbon of imbued ego. Death and influx. Fervor consumed the most sacred of symbols, a heart no more. The parasite was latched. The rind of a bygone torso ebbed formlessly. Her size grew and thinned in simultaneous retort, synthesis with her new casing. Two stood as one. Reincarnated. Reclaimed. Now came the true beginning. Whatever lay beyond the doorknob, 